Microsoft Translator, also known as Bing Translator, is a statistical machine translation service similar to Google Translate. Like Google Translate, it can be accessed via a web-based interface. And like Google Translate, it can also be integrated into CAD tools via an API. Just like Google Translate requires an API key, Microsoft Translator used to require what it called a Bing App ID. However, Microsoft has changed the way the API works and the Bing App ID is being deprecated. In this video, I will show you how the Microsoft Translator API now works as per May 2012. So here I'm at the home page of Bing Translator, microsofttranslator.com, and I can see in the news section there's a message for the attention of developers. The Microsoft Translator API does not accept new Bing app IDs anymore. Please use access tokens exclusively. And uh, I can have a look at the details. Okay, I can see a message at the bottom and they point to another address that I will open. And here there's a message about new Bing app IDs do not work anymore. I click it. And Chris Wendt from Microsoft says that back in September 2011, we deprecated the use of Bing app IDs for the translator service and uh, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, please upgrade to the secure method of Azure Marketplace tokens. Well, it's a bit complicated, but fortunately, our friends from Memsource have prepared some nice instructions on their wiki. And if we follow these instructions, it's uh, quite easy to get the required information. So there are four steps for getting the new info needed by Microsoft Translator. And the first step starts at uh, microsofttranslator.com and we have to click on four developers and then sign up. So this is what we will do. Four developers here and sign up. And here I'm on the Windows Azure Marketplace and there are a number of plans for Microsoft Translator. And I'll go straight to the bottom where I can find a cheap plan, which is free for 2 million characters per month. So I will sign up for that plan. And now I need uh, to sign in with a Windows Live ID. So if you haven't got one, you can create one using the bottom at uh, the left. But I have one, so I'll use this one. And I'll sign in. I'll enter my details. And I'll press on continue. There's an agreement. I accept and register. And uh, now I have this subscription and I can again, I have read and agree, sign up. Okay, so now I have uh, subscribed. I can check under my account. Well, here under my account, I can see an important piece of information and that's my customer ID, which I'm going to copy to the clipboard because I will need it later on. So I'll go back to the Memsource instructions and uh, the next uh, step is to go to the Azure Marketplace and to register uh, my Microsoft Translator application. So this is what I'll do. Here I do not have any registered application, so I will register one. I will supply my client ID that I got in the previous step. I will enter the name of my application. 
and I need to enter redirect URL well I'll supply the memsource URL but it does not matter in fact and uh, I'll say bogus application to obtain a client secret for memsource and I'll create my application that's it so here I have my client ID and uh, under edit I can see my client secret so this is the piece of information client ID and client secret that I need uh, to use Microsoft Translator in Memsource and in other applications that will be supporting the new way of uh, authentication in Microsoft Translator. So I'll go back to my account and under uh, my data I can see that I have my Microsoft Translator subscription which has an active status and 2 million characters remaining and we will see later on that as we translate and we use Microsoft Translator this quota of 2 million characters will be debited. So let's move to the Memsource sign-in screen. I'll sign in and I'll select Setup, Machine Translation I'll select Microsoft Translator as my default empty source. I'll copy my client ID here and I'll copy my client secret here and I'll select projects. Here I have created a BBC project with an article from the BBC that I copied to a Word document which is here and in this project I have uh, Microsoft Translator selected for machine translation so I have uh, downloaded this document and I'll now open it in the Memsource editor here I can see in the lower right corner that uh, the MT indicator is green so I have uh, MT enabled and I get a first match which I can copy and I get another one for the second segment I can move to the third segment again and again and again and again so I was able to get six suggestions from Microsoft Translator uh, in the Memsource editor. So now if I go back to my account and I select my data I can see my 2 million characters quota has been debited by about 500 uh, characters which is what I translated in Memsource. So that's how I was able to use Microsoft Translator with my client ID and client secret in Memsource which is the only CAT tool that supports this new method at this time. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe to my channel for more similar content and see you in the next video.